Welcome to Battletech in the Morning with Captain Nips. I'm Captain Nips, and today is the end of the week. We have finally reached our ultimate destination. In this week where I have tried to poke at the bulwark pilot ability for the purposes of science. And I'd like to end the week in a place kind of bookending from where I started. So... On Monday, I pit a Lance of Hunchbacks with Bulwark equipped pilots against a Lance of Orions, expecting a reasonably fair fight. And for the record, the Orions did not have Bulwark. And instead of an evenly matched affair, what happened was my Hunchbacks absolutely stomped all over those Orions in mind-blowing fashion to me. I did not expect that result. To the point where even only a single one of my hunchbacks took armor blow-through damage to internal structure. One. The rest of my mechs were completely intact. Damaged, ding. Paint scratched, sure. But no internal damage. So I think it only fair, and I think it only correct for the purposes of science to go ahead and push this all the way to its logical conclusion Welcome, where I've once again taken the quartet of hunchbacks with pilots all equipped Oop, I gotta make a change almost all equipped with bulwark let's fix that real quick uh, who's our man ozone's our man there we go against the heaviest opponent. The Steiner Scout Lance Quartet of Atlases. So, this is pretty lopsided, and I am outweighed two to one and outspent by more than that. But I have vet very carefully. And I'll get to this in a second. I very carefully selected the pilot loadout for the enemy lance. Unfortunately, I have to put Sumo in here. Because I learned something very important in, a, in an offline, unrecorded scrimmage. It turns out that if you, in this lance, pick a pilot that has sensor lock. You will probably note that on a loadout to loadout comparison, the hunchbacks are outgunned in every every particular way. Hunchback, auto cannon 4G, auto cannon 20, two medium lasers. Atlas, auto cannon 20, two medium lasers, but also LRM 20 and SRM6. So now here's the interesting thing that I learned in this offline scrum. The AI is smart enough that if you give them a pilot with sensor lock, not only will that pilot use sensor lock on your poor out of line of sight hunchbacks, the enemy lance will maneuver to keep you at arm's length as best it can and just rain an LRM 60 on you every turn. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not one to get too hysterical about playing my games, but it is fair to say that in that match, the AI put me on tilt basically on turn three, and I was ready to flip a table by about turn five. So in the interest of not destroying my computing hardware, I have very carefully selected the pilots for the enemy lance. None of these pilots have bulwark, nor do they have precision or uh, sensor lock. But here's the thing. You run out of pilots. <laughs> so Sumo gets the call here because if we go through the list, you'll notice of the mech warriors that are left, sensor lock, sensor lock, sensor lock, bulwark, which I kind of want to avoid giving to the enemy team for obvious reasons. Sensor lock, bulwark, sensor lock, Bulwark. Bulwark. 
So to try and set up what I want to set up here, I'm having to pick my poison and having seen what the poison of sensor lock does to you, they get one bulwark pilot. What a mess. Today we're going to Alpine River. Today we're going to the Frozen Day. Today we're playing this game. And while I would like to somehow make it through this video without going into full-on tilt, I guarantee nothing. And if I become hysterical, I apologize in advance, dear listener, reader, or watcher, however you choose to ingest these videos. But there is nothing quite so demoralizing as having a quartet of atlases stand just out of arm's reach and rain LRMs on you indiscriminately is literally the worst feeling. Especially when you're trying to leverage Bulwark by standing in one freaking place. So, I'm going to head downhill. And there is a crease in the river here-ish. I'll have to actually get down there but to refresh my memory where exactly. In fact, I'm probably not going to line up there. I'm probably going to line up back a little bit. Because there's another thing that I learned in that godforsaken match that I played. Turns out, elevation in this game is actually kind of important at times. Because... Elevation gives you slight advantages with line of sight. Ever so slight. Just enough that they can see you before you can see them. And the entire purpose of this video predicates on me not being seen before I can see them. At the same time, sure. If we can see each other at the same time, great. Then then it's weapons free, off to the races. But if the atlases see me first and force me to have to move out of my position, then I am immediately put on the back foot because I will not have my bulwark protecting me. And the atlases will get free turns of just... Uh, what do they call it? Obliteratus Protocol. Exterminatus? My 40k is a little rusty. Either way, it ends up bad for Team Hunchback. So, Team Hunchback, we are going to keep a very clear berth of this rock right here. Because this rock right here is the culprit. An Atlas standing on this rock can see down just a smidgen further than if I'm standing here and can see back. So, let's get down into the river. I am picking my line. Here is the, these trees will mark the demarcation line between what I'm hoping is victory and defeat. On the move. Now, one of my hunchbacks, unfortunately, the river gets a little narrow. If I wanted to stand up here, I could get four abreast in the river. Ready to rock. But because I'm choosing to stand back down the river a little ways, I'm not going to be able to stand four abreast. I'm going to have to stand three abreast. I'm here. And I keep ending up with wildfire in the back, which is not helping. But Location confirmed. we can work with what we can here. And now we wait. Here's another thing. It's round four. Those atlases make remarkably good time down that hill. I, I don't know their exact starting location. And I think, yeah, the marker has kind of dried up at this point. I think they maybe start up here. Which, I guess, give them a running start straight down the hill totally doable. All right. Let's get ourselves uh let's get ourselves settled and bulwarked. Bump 
something I can do? Make sure we're pointing the right direction. Hey, yo. Get everybody looking downfield. Point those guns the direction of the enemy. Yes, Commander. She was already mostly looking the right direction, so here we go. The line is set. The box is locked. The lights are green. It's robot fighting time. Come on, you spuds. Come get some. Huzzah, we have more company. What are the chances they make it into line of sight this turn? What now? Let's find yeah, out. Sounds good. Good idea. Got one taking the high road. I'm here. Roger that. What's up, Apparently this is not going to be the turn. Whatever. We're just going to continue to hold Pat. And hey, if Landon Mulance wants to split up, that's perfectly fine by me. Go ahead. I mean, truth be told, if I were the enemy Lance, I wouldn't want to walk into this just charnel house of what's going to be gunfire. This is a firing... This is not a firing line. This is a firing tunnel. But maybe... Maybe just maybe we'll get one... One helpful recruit from... Fatty Scout Lance over there. Hey... That's not going to factor in. Just trying to check and see which mechs had the higher alpha potential. I want to skip the turns of the four Ps so that my four Gs have the first shots, ideally. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I wonder if I should start pulling back because this guy might be able to provide line of sight to his team. Back down the way. No, let's back down the way just a smidgen. I don't want to give. I don't want to give the enemy lance no problem. even the barest hint of a chance to get the first shot off on me. Fortunately, that's going to hang buckshot out to dry for a turn. What are your orders, Skipper? I'm rolling. Puck shots up there like, hey guys, hey guys, what are you doing? Alright, let's just get up in the sky here and take a look. I think I want to move her here. So I'll move her here. The sneaking suspicion she's going to be the first recipient of all of the Atlas weapon fire. And reserve the rest of the team. Let's see what they got. got it. Stay in put for now. All right, so he's gonna he's gonna pathfind down through here, and we have our first competitor. And sure enough, Buckshot starts taking early hits. Blah. Yep, I'm aware, but. Now is the winter of our discontent. Fire the guns! Sumo baby, I need you to... Well, okay, you landed a headshot, which I guess I'll take, but I really need you to land all those guns. Oop, here we go. Contestant number two. Ugh, contestant number two didn't even get into line of sight. Buckshot is going to take some more rain. Wow, look at the precision. All of those missiles hitting her center torso. That is 
Unforgivable. All right, drill this guy. Copy that, Commander. That's gonna be a torso shot. And now these guys are gonna gonna get their LRM chances in. Wow. Bring that focus fire. Oh boy, LG hit that. Yep. Gonna have to rotate. Yes, gonna have to rotate my line. Buckshot can't take can't take another turn of that. Oh, center of mass. We love that. Right into the center torso. Carving off a solid like 170 damage from its armor there. Keep it together, Buckshot. Keep it together. Crap. Armor breach. Internal damage. Yep, already. That's not good. Alright. Buckshot yes, needs to get out of there, but there's no meaningful place for her to go. That stinks. Giving up an entire turn's worth of fire here, just to, just to chill. Chill, and hopefully the AI changes its target. Oh, and she was spotting for my team. Oh. Oh, I did that wrong. I should have fired with the other three mechs and then moved her back. I have initiative on these Atli. And now if I want to get anything off, I need to... Reserve. Damn! Alright, plus side, this guy continues to move up. Downside, he's still shooting at Buckshot. Buckshot's not going to survive the round. <laughs> At least she's got a sense of humor about it all. Oh, my grandmother can shoot better than you. Oh, and he yeah. went, he went he do, critical you? for that. All right, drill him. Target mark. Oh, these four Ps are killing me. You need to. F well, okay, got another head hit in there. Sumo, I don't know what you're smoking what you today. Apparently, you remembered to bring your hip flask. Test number two. Oh, headshot with the auto cannon round. She's going down. I couldn't tell. Couldn't tell at all. Alright, drill this guy. Come on. That looks like a torso shot. Yep. Okay. Okay. Here comes the LRMs. Buckshot's going to be the unfortunate recipient to all of this garbage. Sure enough, she doesn't survive the turn. Just keep the marker. Keep the marker right here. Oh, hey. I got one more. Cool. Drill him. That side torso is going off. We like that. 115 structure left in the center torso of this atlas. Okay. Alright. This is going to be drag out. It could have gone a number of different ways, but this is definitely going to be a drag out fight. Oh, and I don't catch LRM rain. Oh my god. Buckshot's actually going to get a chance to fire. Go freaking figure. Alright. We definitely need to down this downed atlas. And I'm not I'm actually not too worried about that. At this point, I want to try and move to a position that protects Buckshot for at least one turn. And I don't think... I, oh, God. I don't think I'm going to get it. If I take this rock here... Does he... I mean, he'll move eventually. I'm going to take the rock here. Well... Cooling is an issue. This is too far back, too far back. This spot right here. Taking this spot right here. Numbers aren't perfect, but... Oh, 
115. It's my EV here. So like about three quarters, let's call it three quarters a piece. So that's like 17, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not quite 10, 10 times 17 is 170 minus about 34 is like 134 damage. If she lands all of them, she can kill it. Not even all of them, she lands most of them. Do you go for the head? Do you, do you hope to just graze the head? This is silly. This is absolutely silly. This is, you know what? We're not here for salvage. We're here fighting for our lives, honestly. And honestly, now that I say that I totally positioned her wrong, I should have turned her more to one side. Affirmative. Ooh. There you go. All right. Buckshot is gonna... <sighs> She's gonna live up to the agenda here. Oh, man. But that leaves her... She is so hung out to dry. She is so astonishingly hung out to dry. All right. Let's see if I can make something happen later. We need... Ah, oh, for real? <laughs> All right. Up, Somebody's going to have to cool their jets. I'm receiving you. Let's make it ozone so that his refire penalty clears. Confirmed. Holding and cooling. I swear to all that's good and holy if these guys get LRMs off. Come on! Somebody! Yeah. Anybody! Move up! Alright, but I'm ready to go. Nope, of course. The last one to go is gonna be the guy up the hill near me. And I'm not going to get the first shot off. All right. He's going to get the... It's going to... Wait. Oh, it already went. Huh. Okay. Standing by. This actually gives Buckshot a chance. So... I want her moved up. But I also want her bulwarked. But I also want her turned so that her side torso is given up and I can still get line of sight on this guy. What a rigmarole. How about this? So I'll move here. I will turn to, let's say, about there. My right side's being given up to the LRMs in the distance. On my way. And with any luck, the atlas nearby in these trees moves forward this no turn. Problem. Come on! Now will he shoot at her? Oh, thank God he didn't. Change targets. Ozone taking the brunt here. Turns out. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. What's up, we have an opportunity here to begin the strategic removal of this target's armor. Make it so, Sumo. Uh, sumo, Sumo, Sumo. Get your guns under control. A lot of high shots there. Here comes the missile rain. Alright. Hit the right side of Buckshot, which <sighs> it's her gun side, but I'd rather hit the hunch than hit the center torso at this point. Let's get this. I don't actually need to turn in place, but turn in place just a smidgen. Alright, drill him. Here we go. That's an arm shot. God, I didn't even open it up. Atlases have so much armor. All right, this is probably where Buckshot's party ends. Oh, wow. Okay. She's. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Buckshot. I'm so sorry. I'm here. You are easily one of the most entertaining pilots in this roster, but mostly only when you're getting shot at and almost 
getting killed. <sighs> We're going to call her the Doomsayer from now on. Right. Come on, Wildfire, get there. All right, that's right torso. That sweet, sweet auto cannon is hiding there. That's not bad. Yes, Buckshot, get your shot off before anything happens. Engaging. Could you could you disco ball those lasers anymore? All right, you got a head hit in there. Like Next, you. sumo. Wow, we are we are sandpapering with our lasers. What are your orders, Skipper? Roger that, Commander. That's yeah, probably gonna take the arm. Yep. Which is unfortunate because that only gets rid of a single medium Wait laser. Target locked. Ah, but that opens up that opens up that left side. And knock down. Great. Great. That means that the other elements of Lance, although he's going to stand up first. So, ah, well, never mind. Still going to rain LRMs this turn. What's this guy got? What do you got? What do you got, punk? Buckshot somehow keeping it together. How are you still standing? Come the LRMs. Let's just mouse over the center torso and watch that number fall down. Seven, eight, three. Ooh. Oh, here comes here comes the kill shot. Yep. Well, Buckshot got a couple of salvos off. She tanked for the team. We lost one. And she was funny and entertaining the entire time. So we'll take what we can get. Alright. We've got focus now, which actually might not hurt. Do I have a line of sight? I do have a line of sight. What do my numbers look like? 70s. Are you actually in the water? Yes, you're in the water. No, back up a sec. Back up a step. I just want to take a quick peek here at here. what do their numbers look like. Refire penalties are terrible. So I'm going to save focus for probably Ozone or Wildfire. Right here. Because Sumo can get enough work done. Oh, he even gets the small laser in on this. Party laser! Oh, shot to the face. Yeah, shot to the face. We like that. Okay. Ozone. Need you to turn just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. You know what? Turn turn a little bit more than a smidgen. And we're gonna focus on it's you. Go time. Yes it is. Yes it is, sir. Make it happen. Lock it off with all oh, that's left side. That's gonna go center. 85 left in the CT of this Wait Atlas. Got line of sight with wildfire. 85% with the auto cannon. Man. It cannot be overstated how having good gunnery, like high, high gunnery, is so freaking effective in this game. Especially when you want things to land. Oh, that is a kill shot right there. Nice. All right. We've lost one, but we've taken out two. Come get some. What do you got? So despite the loss of Buckshot, who honestly tanked way, way more damage than I expected her to. I can do. We're hanging tough. Two Atlases down. Aye, aye. I'm just going to get the team turned upfield here. I'm receiving you. Get a turn to clear those refire penalties as contestant number three shows up. 
Wildfire is, looks like Wildfire is going to be the new tank, which is really bad because I would want her shooting her guns as long as possible. From downtown, here come the LRMs. Okay, so I guess the AI has decided focusing its fire is now out of the picture. Uh, 50% to hit is not great. Suddenly I'm suddenly I'm regretting not having kept that focus from last turn. Uh, although, Sumo Dean de doing a decent job of just lining up shots. I got you. Oh, solid hit with the auto cannon into the tor left torso of that Atlas. Standing by. Center of mass. Great start on this enemy atlas. Oh, that guy's getting down into punching range. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. If this turns into a melee scrum, this is going to be bad for my lance. Keep it together. Keep it together, people. All right. Short range. Cooling of the river. Lasers ahoy! Sumo, you hit about as many of those last time with 20 to 25 percent less chance to hit. What the hell? Get wrecked! Oh, leg shot. That's not good. Center of mass. Center of mass. He's only got 145 structure left there. Yes, Commander. Wildfire. Do what needs to be done, please. Oh my god, two leg shots in a row. That's the literal bottom of the bucket worst here. So now this guy gets to move up. Is he actually going to get behind me? Nope, he's going to get right side. Hey! Hey! I'm losing weapon systems. I liked that arm. Chump. Okay, so this is... This is an interesting position I've now landed in with this enemy atlas that's on fire standing at the end of my line. I think I'm receiving you. first thing you obviously do is you turn this. And I don't want to turn it too much, but I want to turn it enough. Roger. And drill this guy. <sighs> 65. 65% chance to hit with the auto cannon. Wildfire or Ozone is going to get the focus fire, I think, on this turn, since it c did come back up. Ah, that's what I was afraid of. That was what I was really afraid of. Um, snuck another head hit in there. Actually, you know what, Sumo? Why don't you turn around just a smidgen? I'm on the this guy's got 135 on the CT. You actually could crit seek pretty easily with all these guns. Yes, please aim for the center of mass. Uh, uh, okay, alright. That's not bad. Now the whole left side now transfers to center. 135 and the right torso is open which could lead to him blowing up as a consequence here so we're gonna turn ever so slightly we're gonna throw that focus on with our final we're running out of auto cannon ammo it's taking about two salvos a piece for each atlas three in some cases oh that's left gonna transfer center nice Contestant number three goes down, and we are still holding strong. And now that last atlas has to come to us. So, let's prepare him a warm 21 gun salute. I don't know if we've got 21 guns left, but you know, we'll make do. Oh, fire, how you doing? I actually want to give up your left... I actually want to give up your left side. Let's see. So, 
No, 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 no. I expect him to come up the river, so... There-ish. Hey, I've got enemy contact. Go figure. I could start moving up the up the river at this point to try and close the gap. I'm kind of terrified to do that. You know what? I can I can make I can make short moves and then race at the end of each of them. Get back in the water where you belong. Also, I can take this opportunity to move Sumo forward and use him to tank since he hasn't actually taken any damage yet. And I still want to try and present... It's not going to matter. It's going to be front side, so... Screw it. Buckshot will come back for you after. Just hold tight. We got SAR on the way. Oh, we got focus back up again? Holy moly. That's good times. All right. Uh, let's call a reserve and do it twice. Make this chump move to us. Come get some. Come get some. What? What? Something I can do. Aye, aye. Affirmative. Yeah, that was bad. I probably should have moved forward. Uh, sumo, rotate the line. That's not rotating very well. There we go. You got it. Waiting for the right play. Standing by. Where is this guy going? All right, I have the opportunity to move up. I'm moving up. I'm there. Standing by. Are all my guys guarded? Yep. Come get some. Come here, little Atlas. Seems more intent on causing collateral damage than he is actually getting into this fight. It's also going to go for the trees. That's not good. That's not good at all. Alright. Right here. I need to get in there and get the first shots off. He's already moved, which means I get first opportunity here, so I'm going to move there. Order. Next. Okay, everybody gets a line of sight from the river here, you got which is it. good. We're going to move there. Oh, I can take a shot from here. Oh, he guarded. Ah, that's almost worse. In fact, that's definitionally worse. Alright, well, time to just start pouring fire into this guy. If he's not going to cooperate, we're going to have to do it the hard way. Yes, Commander. Something I can do. Seventy-five is not bad. Take the shot. I'm on him. Torso? Looks like torso. Okay. Out of AC twenty ammo. Couldn't tell. All right, wildfire here is where we use our focus. Come on, people. Let's make it happen. Last shot. Ignore the ignore the guarded. Affirmative. Ah, hits the leg with it. This is basically the worst. Alright. So what does it do? 
You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. What in the actual? You coward. I guess it cleared its stability damage. Couldn't tell. Yeah. Sumo, please continue, by all means, to ruin this guy's day. And now that these guys are out of ammo, I need to move them into whack-a-mole position. Question is... How close do I need to get so the next turn I move in? Actually, I get the... I get the initiative next turn, so the answer is all the way, baby. All the way in. Alright. Put those lasers on target, please. Uh, Alright. Center a mass with two of them. Wildfire, if you would please do the same. Get up in there. Work this guy. Keep working this guy. All right, back to phase three. Right here. Double moves, double shots. Double your murder. All right, Elm 20 crit. Like that. Prefer it be the auto cannon or even the SRM-6, but take it where we can. Commence with the punching. Copy that. Oh, shots of that open leg, you say. Party laser. I'm receiving you. Wildfire. Do me a solid. Work on this guy's left side. This is actually... Yeah! Now you're talking. That's the kind of aggressive we're, aggression we're hoping for. The carving laser comes in. Oh boy, here we go. Nice. Oh, nice. Moron. Sumo weathers the storm. Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Uh, who wants some of this, huh? This guy, right up the hill. That's who wants it. Ooh, doesn't quite get there. Which means the punch party continues. Nope. 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 That's not what we want. Melee. Pummel this guy into submission. Right torso shot. Nice. The carving laser comes into the center torso. Wildfire, can you finish the job? This actually probably will kill. Oh, and it hits the leg! Oh, but it gets the knockdown. Carving laser coming in. 29 structure left in the CT of this big old nasty beast. Here comes the melee in response. You know what? That's quite alright. That torso wasn't doing anybody any good anyway. We <laughs> have focus up again. You know what? End it, please. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know what comes next? Ladies and gentlemen. Wildfire. Wildfire is given first right of stompage. And, ladies and gentlemen, four atlases up, four atlases down. We lose buckshot in the process, but that was about as good as I could have hoped for, I think. There are so many ways that that matchup goes sideways on, goes sideways on us. But to only lose a single hunchback 
to the massed combined fire of four atlases. <sighs> Largely, I feel like on the back of, you know, Bulwark doing the work that I needed to do for my side. Sumo and Ozone pretty much getting through unscathed. Wildfire's Hunchback's going to need refit, clearly. Buckshot's is pretty much, well, we can, we can scrape some of the heat <laughs> sinks out of it, I guess. Um, but the fact that the enemy AI decided to single file into me. Factor number 1A and 1B, Bulwark and single file enemy attacks. As we go to town on the enemy atlases, plenty of good equipment salvage to be had. Lots of autocannons to spare to replace the one that Wildfire lost. Some medium lasers to make up the... Uh, make up the losses on Buckshot's mech. But there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, is Bulwark ridiculous? I believe the answer is yes. I believe the answer following that answer is that we should fully expect a, t a tweak come release in early 2018. God, early 2018. It's already October. Which means it's not that far off, but it also means 2017 is quickly, quickly running out of time. 50% damage reduction. Seems real good. Seems real, real strong. Probably too strong. And I think most people that have played enough of this game likely will agree. Or maybe not. Maybe you're just into never taking damage on anything all the time. You know, that's cool. You know, you be you. You do you. But for me, for the end of this week, that will conclude our in-depth dive and scientific method evaluation of the Bulwark pilot ability. The last remaining probably overpowered ability in the game. Sensor lock seems pretty good. Maybe we'll poke at that next week. But for now, that'll be all because it is the end of the week and the end of this video and I am off to the wilderness to go hide, read a book, and stay away from the battlefields of the Stompy Bots for at least a few days. But we'll be back at it next week. Not right away, but next week. And that'll be all. I am Captain Nips, as always, humbly your mech commander, poking and prodding at as many corners of this beta as I can before the campaign launches. I hope all of you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, and night. A wonderful weekend. Go out, enjoy the fall weather, if it's fall near you or whatever the local conditions are. Uh, spare, again, a thought for those that have been caught by crappy, destructive weather this year. Send your support. Puerto Rico, Texas, Florida. And go out and enjoy your weekend. As for me, I'm a ghost. See you in the next video.